Alright folks, this is another video that goes along with the Astronomy Chase video series. Um, this is going to be the f uh, Meteor Shower Showdown. The Geminids of 2009. Coming up in four days. It's starting in four days. Starts December 7th, lasts till December 17th. Maximum ZHR. 115 to 130. It's an insane shower. Peak dates, December 13th and the 14th. The best viewing area. All you, Anybody who lives in the Northern Hemisphere, you're in for big luck. Um, the Radiant is from the constellation Gemini or Gemini. Some people call it Gemini. I usually call it Gemini or Gemini. Good thing is, the Radiant appears right at around 9 o'clock p.m. according to my star finder thing. It appears just before 9 o'clock, rising from the east. So, to, f to look for the Radiant, or this is where the area of the most viewed meteors, here we're going to line up the time here. The time is around 9 p.m., according to what the information says. So we're going to point this at uh, hour 21, December 14th. You are going to want to look face to the south, more south, and look towards the east and look up. Your zenith is right here. That's going to be directly above you. The constellation Triangulum is going to be near your zenith. And May Sir 34. Const the constellation Gemini or Gemini will be fa uh, you'll be facing south. Look towards the east, and it'll be kind of in the middle between the horizon and directly above you. So, if you're in the northern hemisphere, you're in good luck because this don't if you're really interested, don't miss this meteor shower. This is going to be the last large meteor shower of 2009. However, at the beginning of 2010, you get the quadrantids, which that's that's a pretty intense shower. Um, I do have a few predictions of my own from for all the nights. This is meteors per hour. On the very first night, you're not going to see a whole lot. About five to seven meteors per hour. It'll slowly increase by the next night, 8 through 11, up, then up to 10 through 13, 12 through 15. And by the night just before, it'll be 20 to 26. Night 6, this is December 13th, 105 to 115. So you can, uh, the Geminids, um, usually becomes visible at 9 o'clock p.m. on most days. And whenever it becomes, and whenever it sets, that's when the shower basically isn't viewable in the area. So at 9 p.m. most nights, that's when the Geminids begin every night around 9 o'clock. So December 13th. Uh, starting at 9 o'clock at the peak time so you'll see 105 to 115 and even larger on December 14th 115 to 130 that is amazing and that's really high and then the night afterwards it decreases rapidly down to 28 to 32 14 to 18 then the very last night is 7 to 10 those are meteors per hour so, the Geminids is a really big shower, and it seems to be increasing every year. So, maybe next year it'll be even larger. We'll just have to keep watching. The Geminids is actually a young shower. Compared to the other ones, it's actually a pretty new shower. Um, this trail of debris, I think, was laid down in the late 1800s. So it's a pretty new shower compared to the other older ones like 
the Leonids was started in uh, the 1300s, maybe 1400s. So, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment on this page. I could probably answer a lot of your questions. So, so the Geminids, four nights away from now. So, December 7th is when it begins. So, I hope you'll be able to, I hope you'll be able to, to be under the right weather conditions at the right time. More info will be posted on the upcoming days.